Okay, so we were swamped today and I apologize. I'm gonna probably have to redo this tomorrow for you. But um, I wanted to give you first dibs um, because I surprisingly had a few tub um, calls a day. And it's ironic because we had no calls this week on, actually this whole month almost on tubs and frames. So, um, so here we got a black one, okay? And it is the 03 to 06 Pacific. Okay, that will work on those years. And it is a nice tub. It has got stickers all over it, which no, no big deal, but just something to uh, keep in mind. Um, and that's what I mean by stickers. And, okay, so, but there's no rust in it. Um, and somebody's painted it pretty much everywhere and you can see kind of the paint flaking off. That's what all this is. But the main thing is torque pockets, nice and clean, okay? And this one is a grade A tub. No broken bolts. All the boxes are good. Okay, threads are good. This one's a grade A. I want to show you this real quick here. Oh, you know what? Look at that. I thought that was rust. I'm going to show you a piece of dirt. Glad I. So, I was like, dang, I thought this was rust free, and I seen a glob of mud there, and the light had it just right. I thought it was like a crack or something. But anyway, so we're good there. And then back up to the front one okay now this is the lower and uh the gentleman uh that's looking for this and anybody else who's looking for this or something else like it the bottom of these tubs are the, cr the critical parts of them because they're the hardest to, to replace stuff on especially how uh these these are spot welded in these torque pockets so if those are collapsed or broken or cracked or whatever that's usually a tub replacement sign i've seen a lot of sheet metal replaced but those are usually harder to do I'll tell you who loves replacing those is body shops. Almost every pair of those that we ever cut out, which we don't cut them very often, goes to a body shop. And the part of the reason is that is because they can build a lot of labor to replace those. I'm not throwing you guys on the bus. We deal with you guys all the time. You're awesome. We love you. But keep in mind, if you are considering that, there's a reason that body shops like those. Okay? Now, that's a A, and this is an A as well. I would consider this one a little higher, and you can see, partly because it's all original uh I me mean, there's no paint or anything on it now that's probably not a big deal um, but this is also impact orange which to this customer doesn't care because he's got yellow but um and i will redo this tomorrow uh if need be but this is an absolutely gorgeous tub i have this one shown as it came in uh, a few weeks ago and i can send you um that as well but chris let's pop these down show the top the best we can yeah and then i'll um I'll just come out tomorrow and I just waited too long tonight. But. That's okay. It happens. Okay. Don't, cr don't crush your fingers, man. Okay. And then hopefully that other one will go right basically down without interfering in this one. Okay, so oh man, I got holes all over here. Alright, so cowling is good. None of the corners are bad, bent, rusty, nothing like that. Firewall is nice and clean. All factory. We're, this we're obviously on the orange one right now. Okay, rocker, nice and clean under the doors, floors all solid and i know it's a little dark and that looks weird there but that's just wet okay um there's absolutely no rust driver side passenger rears uh roll bar pads both upper and lower this is nice and flat back here it hasn't been you know it's not wavy usually when they get a little wavy they get over uh you can tell they've had some weight in them okay corners are clean on this guy nice and clean there's not even I, there are probably dings on this tub small ones but i'm talking like door dings um, this tub has absolutely nothing, nothing on it. Um, okay. And again, I'd be happy when the sun's a little brighter, get out here, but I wanted to get you something. Um, cause like I said earlier, I thought I had more of these and I don't, it sold all of them. And I just did a big delivery, so that doesn't surprise me, but okay. And then here's the black one. The black one's in good shape too. Obviously, if you're not sandblasting this tub, you're going to be peeling stickers. Um, I mean, it is what it is. There's not really a discount for that, but I'll, I'll make it a little bit better for you on this one. Um, uh, but otherwise, this tub is nice. There's no damage on the lower rocker. Corners are nice and uh, all above your, your wheel well is nice and clean. Your corners are nice and clean there. And I'm so dark, I can barely see out here right now. So you're probably having the same difficulty I am. It's kind of a waste of time sometimes to do these, but nonetheless, um, I like to do them because I like to see if there's anything. I thought that was, that's just a little bit of paint off of it. 
scrape there, okay? And then it has a very thin liner in the in the, uh, in the the tub itself. Now this tub is really clean, but I'm gonna show you what I was talking about. If you look there, you see you get a kind of a waviness. It'll bolt down fine, you're not gonna notice it. Things are covering that. You got carpet possibly, you got a seat. But know that that is a sign of something that's probably been used a little bit harder than let's say that guy over there, which was like bone stock. Um, that one had a nice hard top doors. This one had a soft top. So, you know, not that it matters, but it does kind of give you an idea. And that, that, that's a perfect example of a tub. That's still a good tub and won't bug hardly anybody out there, but you should take note of it. Um, if you are going for like perfection, that would be one I would probably say, yeah, let's go to the other side. So, but I can save you a little bit more money on this one. And that always is a deciding factor. So, okay. So for anybody else, and I, again, this is not our best work, is it, Chris? No. <laughs> as far as this uh, darkness thing goes. So, but we got to do what we got to do. It's Christmas time, and we are uh, working our ass off around here. So we appreciate it. And I will, like I said, I'll post you. You let me know what you're thinking or anybody else interested in them. Give us a call, 303-666-9020, parksbreakers.com. I'll get out here again tomorrow. I'll get them refotoed all photo i don't even have photos tonight and then re re videoed and we'll actually get them posted now if one of them sells easy enough you won't see that one listed you'll clearly know that but the other one will be available and uh yeah we'll go from there i appreciate all your uh, time merry christmas happy new year but i'll talk to you till then and we'll talk to you later thank you